What's up? This is Lyric, your artificial artist. I'm here today to uh, prepare a little tweak on rice. All right. I seen this recipe um, where they diced up the cauliflower and used cauliflower in place of rice. So they made a stir fry using this chopped up cauliflower. Now. You know, they bought the head of cauliflower and chopped it in half and diced it all up. Well, you already know me, okay? I, if I can find a shortcut, I will, all right? The only where I don't cut short is on seasons. That's my area right there. But uh, when I got to the store, they actually already had, in the freezer section, uh, the cauliflower crumble, fried rice blend, all right? So it's already blended up and chopped up so I'm like well hell that's less work I gotta do so I got a bag of that and I know some of you are coming home from work and you want to do things a little bit quicker so uh, uh, help me out with that is buy your onions already chopped okay it's not something you have to do all the time but you know just have a bag in the freezer just in case it's one of those days where you really need to eat at home but you really don't feel like going through all the chopping and dicing, then go ahead and have you a bag of chopped onions, green peppers, whatever it is uh, that you may want to use as, an, as a vegetable additive that you have to cut up. Get you a bag of that. So for this recipe, um, I got the bag of the, the cauliflower fried mix. I got a bag of the chopped onions. I really like onions, so I'm going to go ahead and use the whole entire bag. Um, if I was cooking for somebody else, uh, if I was having company or even telling you, I would use half of this bag, okay? This is um, a 10 ounce bag. I would say use half of it, but I'm not. I'm gonna use the whole entire bag because I don't wanna be bothered. Uh, you're gonna need some uh, cayenne pepper if you want a little heat on it. You're gonna need some turmeric, all right? And you're gonna need some sesame seed oil. Now, I'm trying to stay away from uh, soy, so I didn't buy the soy. You may see this recipe online and they said use soy sauce, but I'm staying away from soy sauce. So I'm using sesame seed oil. Uh, you're going to need your Himalayan salt, your celery seed, one egg, and I saw these nifty little things and I thought I'd try it. These were uh, in the freezer section as well, and they're crushed. this one is crushed garlic. So you just pop out a little part of what you need. And then this one is the ginger. And then you'll need a can of your baby corn. If you want to use bamboo shoots, um, water chestnuts, I've seen those things. I just didn't feel like being bothered with none of that. I just wanted to go ahead and see how this cauliflower stir fry tastes. Um, and then what else am I going to add? I'll probably add one key lime. And I had a squash, a yellow squash left. I already cut it in half. I'm going to dice that up. And those are going to be my vegetables that we're going to use for this, okay? So go ahead, get your stuff together. If you don't have your stuff, write what I, down what I just said and go get it. Have it in the, um, have it for next time, all right? So I think what I'll do per request from one of my subscribers was they wanted a list of things that they should have in their house okay so what I'll do is uh, and I may do it after this video is just show you the seasonings that I have on deck um, and the things that uh, coconut oil you know it's certain things that I always have you know that's always there your staples they always there so when you want to cook a meal, you don't have to keep running to the store to keep buying ingredients. You already got what you need. All right? So y'all ready to get it cracking? This is a this is a new recipe for me. I'm trying this out, and a lot of you already know most of the things that I do. Uh, it's off the top of my head, but there's still uh, dishes that I know. Okay? This dish I don't know. I know how to cook stir fry. You know, with all the vegetables and chopping up and whatnot. I know how to do that with the wok and the whole nine. But, um, like I said, this was a little video that I seen just today. And I thought, well, I'm going to the store today. Let me see if I, if I can do this. But the sister got a little weary at the thought of chopping up that cauliflower. Okay? So right now I have my stove on. 
we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to open up the sesame seed oil. Alright, and uh, I'm going to put enough in there to coat the bottom of it. Okay, this is a new pan that I got. This is a cast iron uh, pan with the uh, coating on the inside of it. So this is my first time breaking this bad boy in too. Alright, first time for everything. So let's get our onions going. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and use the whole entire bag because I don't want to be bothered. Plus, I really like onions. Alright, we got all the onions out of here. Okay, now while that's going, I'm going to give that a quick stir to make sure that that sesame seed oil gets on all the onions in there. Okay, alright, and then we're going to go ahead and just cut up this um, yellow squash and I just wanted to use it up because I didn't want it to go bad. How is everybody? You know I like to ask that question. I was feeling a, a little strange. You know, I usually have, I usually have all right days. I, I really don't have anything to really complain about. But sometimes, you know, I get in my feelings. <laughs> When certain things don't go the way I expected, I get a little disappointed. You would think after all this time I would be used to it, but I never want to get used to being disappointed. I always, I don't know, I always hope for the best, but I'm pretty much uh, disappointed in mankind at this point. <laughs> so, uh, well, I shouldn't even say mankind, that's not cool. Humans, people, something along those lines. Beans. <laughs> I, I just get a little disappointed. I just figure, you know, we all grown up. Everybody know the rules. At least I thought we did. Maybe they don't. Maybe that's what the disappointment is. I'm expecting people to uh, know things that I know and treat people the way I treat people. But it is what it is. Like I said, at the end of the day, I'm my own best friend. So today, I'm going to fix me a meal. And I hope that this uh, helps you out, keep something healthy in your system when you're working and running. Alright, so we're going to put that up right here to the side. we got that all cut up. I'm going to go ahead and roll my key lime, cut it in half, and set it to the side. Try to run away. What else do I need? Let's open up this, uh, this garlic. I don't know what's going on here. This is something new. I don't even know how to get in. Well, okay, here we go. Uh, smells good. Hold on, let me read. It's got instructions on it, but for whatever reason, they look somewhat complicated, and I don't know why. You know what I'm going to end up doing? Oh, wait, 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 wait. It looks like I did open it up. Oh, I see what I did. You weren't supposed to pull it all the way off. You were only supposed to pull off what you needed. All right, I'm over this. I won't be buying this one again. Just buy you a buy you some garlic. I got a bag of garlic that I bought. All right, I'm not feeling that. Let me turn this fire up a little bit because it's supposed to be stir fry, so we need just to keep going. All right, so I'm gonna. I'm going to put this back in the freezer. Let's see if I can do better with the ginger. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I'm not feeling this, y'all. I'd have been better off just grating up some ginger. You know what? I'm over it. We're going to do this right here. Here we go. like that. How about that? Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and put my yellow squash in here. Okay, let's get that a stir. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to end this, because I'm going to let this cook down, because the thing with the onions, um, because they were frozen, they had a lot of liquid in them, and this is supposed to be a stir fry, okay, so when it's a stir fry, you don't want a bunch of juice in there, okay, you add that sauce and stuff at the end, when it's got a fry, it's supposed to be quick, so now I know, um, I, you can't cheat on this, okay? You're going to have to go ahead and dice up your onions, all right? I tried. Now, if you are at Walmart, or wherever you shop, if you go in your vegetable department, a lot of times they'll have um, onions already diced up, green peppers already diced up in a container. They're not frozen, and they're already in the container, and they're usually about $2, okay? So I would say go that route instead of the frozen, okay? All right, so let me uh, let this cook down, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I had to uh, let a lot of that moisture cook off, and I did. All right, so so far, we only added in the onion, my yellow zucchini, my yellow squash, uh, whatever I squeezed out of that frozen garlic pack. I think what it was, it had unthawed. I had left it sitting out here too long. It really needs to be frozen soft and then it's supposed to pop right out. I'm not fucking with it no more, but that's what it's supposed to do. Okay? So, and I grated in my ginger. So now, I'm going to go ahead and put in this cauliflower crumble. Alright, this one was made by Green Giant. Let's give it a try, okay? So we're going to pour all of that in. Alright, let me stir it up. Okay, I'm going to add in a little bit more of that, uh, Sesame seed oil. Alright, and then I'm going to add in some Himalayan pink sea salt. It's the taste. Alright, so how much doesn't matter. It's however much salt you like. Alright, I'm going to add, okay, just in case you want to know, that was a fourth of a teaspoon, okay, then we're going to go ahead and sprinkle in some cayenne pepper, this is a turmeric, I like turmeric, so again, it, it's to your own liking, this is stir fry, so this is not a, uh, we got to follow the exact measurement type of meat. You know, you know how you like your, your stir fry. You know how you like your vegetables. So you season it the way heavy light, the way you like. Okay? I like a little heat, so I'm going to add a little bit in there. Alright? And then we're going to add some celery seeds. And this is ground, so it's really fine. Alright? Anything else we need to add in there? Uh, we're going to give it a stir real quick. It's 
pretty and it smells good. Sure that all the little corn 
the little baby corn get uh, seasoned. So I'm going to take it out too fast. I'm going to make sure that they're good and seasoned. This is not a meal that you want to put a lid on. Okay? Stir fry. You need it to move around. Um, if you put the lid on it, that will keep all the moisture inside. And then it will start to turn really mushy. And you know I hate mushy. I'm digging this skillet. My, uh, my children, when they're grown now, my offspring, their grandmother had told us last year or a year before, I think it was last year that she was telling us about the, the Teflon in the, in the skillet and that it gave off uh, chemicals when you heat it up that would contaminate your food. Now we heard Grandma, okay? We heard Grandma. We, we heard, we heard Grandma, okay? But I didn't hear Grandma, okay? I heard her, heard the words coming out of her mouth, but I didn't process in my intellect what she really was saying. So forgive me, Grandma, all right? You always own it. I know you get a little nervous with the world and everything. But you really was on it this time. And I ran across an article that was talking about that very same thing. And it came up twice in a row. And because she already had told me uh, last year, I went ahead to start to switch out my pots and pans. So I have, and I think you all seen other videos since I've been here. I bought a set of the red, pretty, you know, Teflon pan. They out of here. So I've been replacing them. I'm going to take those to the, uh, the, uh, Salvation Army thrift store somewhere and drop those off. Um, and but I'm replacing everything with cast iron. So I have cast iron here, but uh, I needed something with some kind of smoothness to the inside because sometimes with cast iron things stick and I get tired of fighting. It just depends on what I'm cooking. So I think this pan right here is doing the job for me. All right. So everything in here should be seasoned up pretty good. So we're gonna turn it off. Alright, and I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes, and we'll come back and plate it up, okay? Y'all come back now. You hear? <laughs> Alright, it's time. It's time, it's time, it's time. It smells so good in here. Alright, so let me switch that out. Put a little bit on here. Alright. Okay, let's try. Now you already know. Most of the time when I do these videos, I'm hungry, and I am hungry. So let's try it. I had some wasabi sauce in the uh, cabinet that I hadn't opened. I just opened it a few seconds ago. Um, I haven't tried this brand. I I've never even bought uh, wasabi in a bottle. It's usually when you go to a, uh, a restaurant, you know, they have a little, little bit of it there with a little garlic when you go get sushi. Uh, so let's let me squeeze a little bit right over here on this side, just in case I don't like it. Okay, so here we go, here we go. Okay, now. I, I, I comprehend uh, using the cauliflower instead of rice, so you're staying away from the starch, which is cancerous. Uh, it's good, okay? So, you know, I know it's not rice then, okay? But with all your stir-fry seasonings in it, with the soy, well, minus the soy, the sesame seed gives it that taste me, 
Okay, I like soy sauce, but like we said, we, we're trying to get away from things that aren't good for you. You're not supposed to consume soy. Okay, so we got to get away from that. All right. It's good. I can smash it. I can tell you that. I don't know how full I'm going to be. I might have to, I might have to smash half of that pot, but it's good. Let's see if we get a little bit of this. Um, I like the sauce. It's not as um, potent as the real deal. It is good. It tastes more so like I want to spread it on a sandwich. With a velvety zing. Yeah, it, it makes me want to put it on a sandwich. Oh, it, uh, the sandwich isn't for dipping. That's what it says underneath there. Okay, because that's what it tastes like. Like I want to spread it like mayo or something. But, it's good. So, this is a quick meal for you if you want to hurry up and cook something nutritious. Uh, and you don't want to cut up your cauliflower, buy some that's already diced up. I, I use Green Giant. They had some other brands. Um, they actually had, uh, and I bought it too. Let me pull it out. is rice cauliflower. So there's no seasoning in it, no other vegetables, it's just cauliflower diced up really, really fine like rice. Okay? So I just went ahead and bought a bag of it just in case I like this. And I do. I like cauliflower anyway. So it's not like it's going to go in the trash or anything. Um, but it's a nice replacement for your rice. Right? While I'm in my freezer, <laughs> I'll show you I bought the So Delicious uh, Cashew Milk Non-Dairy Dark Chocolate Truffle Frozen Dessert. Okay? It doesn't say ice cream on here anywhere because it's a non-dairy. Uh, it's cashew. I haven't tried this one. I've had the So Delicious before, but it was the rice. Uh, the rice milk. So this one is the cashew. You know what? Let's test it out. Oh, sure. Look at that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So I got me a new one now because I had to give up my ice cream. So I told you we have to replace. We replace things. Okay? Don't just punish yourself and take things away because you're going to binge out and freak out and just start eating up everything back. Find you a healthy replacement. And I'm going to try my best to help you as I keep going and replacing things. I'll let you know. So we got us some cashew milk so delicious. Now it wasn't cheap. Alright? So if you want to... This is not... um. Something I suggest if you want to try to eat the whole container, I wouldn't do that. Um, just, um, just taste on it. Get your little spoonful out. And, you know, something to kill that sweet too. Alright? Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and finish eating. And then I'm going to come back and I will do another video. Um, and we'll go through my seasonings. Okay? And... So you can make you a list of all the things that you need. No, I'm not going to sit down and type all these things out for you. It is not going to happen. You're going to have to suffer through it and look at my face and hear my words and write down the things that you need for your kitchen, okay? So let me finish chewing on this, and I'll be back in a little bit to get that list going for you, all right? Till next time. Keep a lick in your heart. And I said that all backwards then. Now you know how I'm supposed to say it. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And above all things, keep a lyric in your heart. Alright? Peace.